Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Machine Builder, and today I'll be teaching you how to make custom log blocks in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So this is what a log block normally does. Place it on the ground, faces upwards, you can place it on any side, and it will all always face the direction you place it on the side of blocks. So you can place it like that, that. So we're going to be learning how to make custom blocks like these. Okay, so first thing we do is head over to the behavior pack. And in the blocks folder, we're going to make a new file. And I'm just going to call it log.json and open it up in any text editor. And then in this file, we obviously want a format version for our block. So that will be 1.16.100. We need a Minecraft block attribute. And then a description for our block, which contains the block identifier and properties. And this will be machine builder log. That's what I'm naming the block. This is the namespace for my add ons. All items and blocks in one pack should usually use the same namespace. So I'm just using Machine Builder because that's my name. And then this is the actual block identifier. And actually, I think this might cause issues. So I'll just call it custom log and then I'll quickly rename the file. Okay, so there we are. I've renamed the file to custom log and renamed the identifier to custom log. So now properties, we need our rotation direction. So I'm going to call this MB facing direction. And it's going to have three values it can be, 0, 1, or 2, because it can face in the x-axis, y-axis, or z-axis. So those are the three angles it can face. And now we need permutations for this block. So we're going to set up some conditions. So we're going to set up condition quickly. And this condition will be query.block property. And this will query the MB facing direction. And it will check if it's equal to 0. So basically, if this value is zero, then these components that we list here will be added to the block. So Minecraft rotation should be zero, 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 because for the zero angle, we don't need any rotation. It can just face normally, so that will be upwards. And now for the rest of these, we need one and two. And then this one will be 90 degrees in the x-axis. And then this one will be 90 degrees in the z-axis. So these are all the facing directions done, so now we need the actual components. Alright, so after permutations, just add a component section. And in here we're going to have a Minecraft destroy time, which I'll set to 3 seconds. And a Minecraft friction, which I'll set to 0 0.6. I can probably leave that blank because it's default. And then we need a Minecraft flammable. Flammable. I think I spelled it correctly. No, I didn't. And then flame odds should be 50, and burn odds should be 0. I'm not actually sure why, but these are the default things that the bedrock.dev site has. So I'll just enable those and set them to that value. So now we need a Minecraft on player placing. And this will trigger an event called set facing direction. And then after this we need a Minecraft unit cube which tells the game that this is a full block, not a custom geometry block. Material instances. We're going to set this up, so all of this. Custom log. So I'm going to set every single face of this texture to custom log, and then render method should be opaque. So render method opaque. And then ends of the block. Texture will be log top and render method will be opaque again so i just copy that one and then the up texture for this block will reference ends so the top texture will be ends and then the bottom texture which is down will also be ends so the up and down textures will both use the log top texture which i should which just a custom log top and then the rest of the sides will use custom log and so now we need to set up our event so set facing direction and in here, we are going to have a set block property, property to MB facing direction will be equal to math.floor query.blockface divided by 2. And here you can see block face returns the, fa the block face for this. So when you place it, it returns the block face down being 0, up being 1 north, south, west, and east, and if we just divide these by 2 and then round them to the nearest integer for them, 
for down, for up or down, we'll get zero. For north or south, we'll get one. And for west and east, we'll get two. So those are the three values we set up in the permutations. And so that should actually be this whole behavior file done. So now we can head over to the resource pack. And in here, we're going to open blocks.json. I'll add my own machine builder, custom log. And the textures here, we don't actually need them because they're defined by this material instances. So we can leave that blank and just put sound wood because we want it to sound like wood. So now in textures, we need a terrain texture file. So just open this up and I'll add my own one again. And this one will be called custom log because that's what we defined here. So custom log will be textures forward slash blocks forward slash custom log side. And then we need a top one as well. So custom log top over here will be custom log. Okay, so I've just copied the oak wood texture and renamed the files. And I'm just going to edit the textures a little bit to make them different. So there you go, I just made them blue for some reason. And so now that the textures are done, we just need to set up the language file. So just open this file. And I'm just going to type in tile.machinebuilder custom log. And we'll set the name to custom log. To custom log, which is this identifier. This should be the same thing we put here. And now if we load in game, we should see the new block in game and it should all be working. Okay, so we're back in game and if I just do slash give machine builder custom log, you can see in my inventory there is custom log. You can place it down in any direction, any axis. So this seems to work, this part of it, but if I swap over to survival and drop that log and then break these blocks, you can see it gives me an error in the content log. That's because I don't have a loot table set up. I don't know what's happening. Oh, actually, yeah, this is the issue with the block. It creates this bug block, which you can't actually break anything with, and you also can't place. So we're going to need to set up a loot table for this. Okay, so back in the behavior pack, just open up your loot tables folder, and I have a blocks folder inside my loot tables, where I already put this file, so I'm just going to copy that, and call this custom log, and then open it up. And in here, I'm just going to change this to custom log, so now we'll drop one custom log, and then I just have to edit the block file over here. We have a Minecraft loot component with loot tables, forward slash blocks, forward slash custom log.json. So this links the file that we just made to the actual block. So now if we load back in game and break the block again, we shouldn't see that issue. So here we are. So if we just break this block, we get the normal block, we can place it again. Even if it's at any rotation, it's still workable and it doesn't cause any issues with that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like and if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe and also consider sharing this video because that helps me out a lot and it allows other people to find this video. And I really hope this video helped you with your add-on creating journey and I'll see you in the next one.